Whenever we talk about destiny, we are talking about something very personal, very deep, very intrinsic. And when we do so, we oftentimes speak in romantic terms. We are searching for our destiny, which is our, our purpose in life. And we, we, stu- we either stumble across it or we discover it by digging deep into matters that interest us, or it may be heaped upon us through circumstances. And you may think you know what your destiny is, and you may be right, but then, but then again, you might be wrong. And there are, there, this is something that can drive you absolutely nuts if it matters to you a lot, if you really care about what your purpose is, if you really care about what your destiny in life is, it can drive you crazy if you can't put your finger on it. So what I want to offer you today is a sliver of your destiny. And I say sliver because there are many layers to your purpose in life. You don't have just one purpose. Um, you don't, ha- you know, you, you'll hear people uh, work towards something and they'll compete and they'll they they'll they'll gain things through great volition of effort and um they'll accomplish things and they'll say they'll say things like i was born for this i was made for this well you're not born or made for just one thing you have many purposes in life and many of those Many of those things change because there are different seasons to your life. But there are, there is one particular facet of of your purpose and your destiny in life that's never going to change. And I'm, and I want to speak to you men in particular because, because this is going to carry a lot of weight if you take it to heart. Uh, I was listening to Joe Rogan the other day, and he had on his podcast uh, Dan Hardy. Dan Hardy is an MMA fighter. Uh, uh, slash commentator. I really like him a lot as a fighter, and I like him as a commentator. He's he's absolutely great. And um, so, in listening to them talk, uh, Joe Rogan said something very uh, prescient, very, very insightful. And I, I I just I just like the way he said it. And I'll share it here with you. He said him and him and Dan Hardy were talking about. I don't know. I remember what they what they were talking about. It, at that moment, because it was a three-hour interview. And uh, Joe Rogan mentioned the fact that he likes people who do really hard things. Did you get that? He likes people who do really hard things, and he clarified it. He qualified it by saying, you know, like people who work out really hard. He goes, some of the best people I know are people who work out really hard. They go to the gym, they sweat, and they they push themselves as hard as hard as possible because uh, um, they these are the people who know what they can do. They have to be honest with themselves. They 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 find out how much they can and cannot do. And um, he says these are the people I like the most. Now I'm I'm not quoting him verbatim, obviously. I'm paraphrasing it. Uh, but I, I don't even remember what part of the podcast it was, so I couldn't even give you the hour and the minute uh, of, w- of when he said it. But it was worth listening to. And it really made me think that he's, you know, I, I I totally agree with him. He has a really good point, and I think uh, y- you should listen to that. Every man should have something hard in his life that he is working on at all times, from cradle, well, I say from cradle to grave, but, um, you know, from the point that you're able to make a decision about a direction. Uh, anytime you have independence, Anytime you can exercise independence, anytime you can make your own decisions, when you can exercise your own will, you need to be working on something hard. And this starts in childhood. It absolutely starts in childhood. You develop, and it's it's actually quite natural. But the reason why I bring it up is because when you become an adult, um, you you can become quite complacent. And there are many people that uh, and they're, they're in their 20s, they, they, they've maybe gone through school, they've settled into a job, um, and then uh, they, they go to their, they, they live out their career by showing up at work, 
they go home and they basically live a retired life. They settle down, put their, put their feet on the coffee table, they eat their dinner, and they go to bed and they get up and they repeat the process day in and day out. They might give themselves little vacations, but they're not working on anything hard. Now, this is not everybody, obviously. Um, you should always, I firmly believe you should always be working on something hard. I think you should always be cultivating four things. I think that you should be cultivating yourself physically. You need to be cultivating yourself intellectually. You need to be cultivating yourself spiritually. You need to be cultivating yourself emotionally. Now, when you do something hard, when you work on something hard consistently, you tend to become better at it. You may even become good at it. You may even become accomplished at it. But don't mistake this for financial success. Financial success is not the be-all, end-all. And uh, that just because you acquire a sum of great sum of money, perhaps a fortune, doesn't mean you are somebody in life now. It's most important to be busy. Be busy. This is this is the sliver of destiny I want to impart to you, is that you should always be busy and always working on something hard. You should have more than one stick in the fire. You should be interested in multiple things, things that challenge you, things that challenge you physically, things that challenge you intellectually, things that, things that, things that challenge you spiritually, things that challenge you emotionally. That means working on relationships. That means finding out what you believe. That means uh, exercising your body so that it doesn't wear out and you're, it's always, you're always able to use it till the time you die. And uh, it's just, you have to stay busy. Now, let's hear from the wisest man that ever lived. At least he's reportedly the wisest man that ever lived. His name was King Solomon. I'm sure you've heard his name. But in the book of Ecclesiastes, in, in the book of Ecclesiastes, uh, chapter eleven, verses four and six, he he said something that you really need to remember here. And here's what he said. Now I don't know what version of the Bible this comes from, but it's uh, obviously a, a more modern translation. Here's what he said. He said, "If you wait for perfect conditions, you will never get anything done. Be sure to stay busy and plant a variety of crops." For you never know which will grow. Perhaps they all will. And that's the that's the key. Always stay busy. Always be working on something. Plant a variety of crops. And I've just given you four ways you can do that. And keep at it. But what he said here at the very beginning is very wise to remember. He says, if you wait for perfect conditions, you will never get anything done. You see, this is why a lot of people don't start anything. Or this is why people will start something and not finish it. They will never see it through to completion. They don't want to take risk. They get comfortable. They get complacent. They've got their job. They've got their career. What else do they need? Right? So they feel secure. But they're not necessarily working on something. And this may not apply to you. If you are somebody who stays busy, who works on things that are hard, who challenges yourself, who is always grinding it out put it down in the comment below what it is comment box below what it is tell me what it is tell everybody what it is it could be a, a source of inspiration to somebody my son my oldest son when he was i don't know how old he was it was about three or four years ago i taught him how to do a basic three ball pattern juggle uh juggling set he uh he was able to learn how to juggle three balls it's not hard anybody can learn it and he went to town with that and started teaching himself how to juggle four, five. And he could do that with, with various objects. And he worked and he worked and he worked at it. And I told him, I said, if you continue to work at that and work at everything else in your life, like you're working at that, you will go places. You will be a happy person. Every man needs to be working on something hard. He needs to be working on something hard physically, uh, something hard um emotionally, spiritually, and uh, you need to be 
you need to be honest with yourself. You need to figure out where you stand. You need to figure out what you're good at, what you're not good at, and you need to figure out a way to push yourself. And that is part of your destiny. And this might be very dissatisfying to you because you want something more concrete. You want to be able to say, and I'm exaggerating here, but you want to be able to say, my destiny is to um, to win the <laughs> to win the world heavyweight champion. I, I'd, I'd have to be a heavyweight to win the world boxing heavyweight to be to be the world boxing heavyweight champion, to win the gold cup, to win the Stanley Cup, to take over a country. I mean, these are all kind of silly, highfalutin things. Uh, they're they're dreams for somebody. But um, but you don't remember you don't have just one destiny. You know there are a lot of Olympic uh, competitors that go to the Olympics. They win gold, silver, bronze, and after they get done, a lot of them become very dissatisfied, depressed, and they start to feel like their life is meaningless, worthless. They don't know what to do because they wrapped up their whole identity and their whole destiny. In this one thing. You have to stay busy. I know guys, I've known plenty of men who have worked their entire life just so they can retire. And after they retire, they die soon thereafter because they didn't have a purpose. They didn't have anything they worked on. Stay busy. Always have something that you're doing. I... I like to I like to challenge myself intellectually. I read a lot. Uh, I like to play the piano, so I work laboriously on that. It's not all fun and games for me. Um, I work out and I've always been interested in my in what I believe spiritually. These things have occupied my days. When I say days, I really mean years. And they will for the rest of my life. And that those these are the things that essentially define me because these are what I do. These are the things that tell me who I really am and what I'm made of, what I'm capable of. And they are a source of inspiration in and of themselves. So what is your sliver of destiny? To sum it up in this video, your sliver of destiny is to stay busy. Don't make excuses. Don't play it too safe. And don't wait for perfect conditions. You don't need perfect conditions to stay busy. You don't need perfect conditions to grind it out. You don't need a guarantee that everything is going to work out financially successful, success, successfully for you. You don't need that. It may work out successfully, uh, financially prosperous for you, and it may not, but you stay busy. And by the way, staying busy will keep you out of trouble. These are the things that will define you. These are the things that will tell you who you are, and these are the things that will inspire you. That is your destiny. I hope that gave you something to think about today. I hope you enjoy your day, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.